morning, everyone. Want to hear me drink my coffee? Mm. Some nice mouth sounds for this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, it took longer to get the coffee to my mouth than I was expecting. There's not as much in there. So I feel like there was a long pause and then a slurp. Um, I'm not a big coffee drinker. Uh, I recently, when I was doing the dating games with Ben and Jan, um, I was talking about how I was like, I guess I'll get into coffee. And I like started, because we have free coffee in the office, and I started drinking coffee every day. Um, but what I do is I don't want to get addicted to the caffeine. So I get a decaf mocha. And Ben and Jan were both like, Abby, that's just drinking hot chocolate every morning. And I said, and your point is? Anyway, I like my warm, tasty drink. I have a good time. Dan's laughing in there. <laughs> He said, drink soda. I'm not drinking soda in the morning. I drink soda. I know I drink soda. I know. But I feel like I've cut down on soda quite a bit. I don't think I'm addicted to the caffeine in the soda. I think I'm addicted to the sugar in the soda. And now I'm addicted to the sugar in my mocha coffee. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know. I, I'm, I'm worried about getting addicted to stuff constantly, um, which probably means I'm not. Uh, maybe I don't probably don't have an addictive personality since I'm very aware of it every time I get coffee that I'm like it's a slippery slope I'm drinking a coffee um, but anyway I hope you enjoyed my slurp and I hope you all have a nice warm beverage or a cold beverage or no beverage your deal whatever you want I hope you enjoy it because we are going to get started with another run here we go fade to black Started, started drinking tea. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm just snorting ketamine off the bathroom rails. Really? Bathroom ra Anything in between or just straight from tea to ketamine? No, it was right from, it was Earl Grey right to K. Really? Yeah. That's what the, <laughs> oh, that old song and dance. Earl yeah. Grey to K. Did you see that they're, uh, they're, they're possibly using ketamine as a nasal mm -hmm. thing for depression? That's amazing. Mm -hmm. It, But like reading the story uh, made it sound very much like, like this, this, using this derivative of ketamine could like have effects in hours for depression. I also heard this. Well, I heard it on my podcast this morning, my news podcast. Maybe we were listening to the same one. <laughs> was it up first? NPR's up first? Uh, it might have been up first. first. Yes, because it wasn't the Daily this morning. But uh -huh. there was that article in the New York Times too about it. But it made it sound very much like this, the road to like Soma or like, you know, the, the drugs oh. of like, you know, take your happy pill. Uh, <laughs> and like, because like, they were like, the effects are, you know, you don't have to wait weeks like for this stuff to kick in. Yeah, it's like it, you get it that day, but they're like, we're really worried about people abusing it. So right now you have to go in oh, right, yes. to like get it monetized. Yes, to get you have it to, it's it. a nasal spray, but you have to have it administered at yes. a place. So, they won't let you take it home. So it's, it's available. Still, like, very, I think it's still pretty early. It's available now, though? Uh, I think it's, it might be in trials. Probably, yeah, I think it's like clinical Are testing. they sponsoring the stream? Ketamine? <laughs> Ketamine, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ketamine. I was thinking, I was worried, I got contacts recently, and I got little drops, and I put them in, and every time I grab the bottle, I make sure I read the label super clearly, because I'm so afraid I'm going to grab like a super glue bottle and just put it right into my <laughs> eyes, and I know if I got the ketamine spray, I would just be like, oh, I'm just going to spray ketamine in my eyes within like four days accidentally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember not people talking about it as a horse tranquilizer. Ketamine? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do I'm not ketamine? super. I've I think it's ketamine. ketamine. Oh, Kansas, I'm pretty we sure it's it ketamine. Yeah. Well, listen, know. you have you have the horses out there. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hadn't heard of ketamine. I hadn't seen ketamine circle back around. Listen, I haven't been in the clubs, let's say, mm. uh, for like 20 years. Yeah, I never was in the clubs. Oh yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I used yeah. to go to goth clubs. Yeah. Mm -hmm, in high school. Cause yeah. I, all my friends were goths. Really? Uh -huh. Wow. That's fun. Yeah, it was fun. It's an yeah. interesting experience. I was scared of goths. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I was in a goth club, and they take dancing very seriously. Sure. And I guess I got into a, a woman's dancing space, and she was upset with me. And I was like, I'm sorry. Like right. you got you you. In, it was like you, it's a club. It's crowded, and I was like, cool. I'm gonna go to the dance floor. And she was like, come on, like I'm uh, dancing here. I'm doing here. my thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's such a good bit. <laughs> that is definitely like some kind of Larry Larry David esque <laughs> stuff. Of like, well, how big is my space? <laughs> uh, I was uh, there used to be the limelight over here. Yeah. Which, uh, 
Um, I don't think is the limelight, or it's probably something. I've never been to a real club in New York. Is that a cool? Um, Just Boston club. There's a church that they converted into a a club. Okay. Is that the one that's like a gym now? Do you know what I'm talking about? (laughs) Probably. Like near 23rd. It's like 23rd and 7th or 23rd and 6th. Probably. I think I'm pretty sure it's a gym now, but it's like this old, cool-looking old church. And probably where would you say where'd you say it was? I think it's like around like twenty third sure. and sixth or seventh. Yeah, that's I think that's about right. Yeah. Uh there's some weird buildings in New York. Do you ever go by that CVS? This I feel like I'm doing a bit now. <laughs> Folks, there's some weird buildings in New York. Some weird weird stuff, weird stuff, weird stuff. Anyone weird, from New York? Wacky stuff. Wacky stuff. Yeah, Ooh, New, New, York, New York. Yeah, New York. Do you ever see that I was wondering, you ever see that CVS that uh that is like in the old post office? No. It's like this Woo! beautiful <laughs> Yeah, post yeah. offices. This person knows mail. Um and it's like this beautiful old building and it's like a fucking CVS. Oh really? No, oh, yeah. Does it have uh, like a steeple? Oh, I don't think post offices. <laughs> oh, I just, when I think old buildings, I think a bunch of steeples and gargoyles. I think it might have some gargoyles. Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of gargoyles in the city. I know. I like it a lot. Cool. There was a face on a building that was actually really freaking creepy. It was just a like a stone face coming out of the side of a building like this <laughs> with a oh. And I, I showed my daughter. We were walking down the street, and I was like, "Look, that's that person got trapped coming out of that building." Betty, like, that's really scary, Dad. <laughs> and I was like, "Don't worry, they died before they they hurt." <laughs> she was like, "Don't do that again." Oh man, Mom, is that real? <laughs> Has she seen Gremlins Two, the new batch? No, not yet. The gargoyle her, comes to life it, there. It's on her list. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, should we do it? Uh, yeah, ready to folks, go. you're not gonna want to miss this. Let me tell you something. Let me, folks. Let me tell you. Let me tell That's you something. Me. Let me tell you something. My line that I made up. Let me show you something. Uh, you're not gonna want to miss this. Stay tuned. We're gonna beat Altered Beasts here uh, for a lot of reasons. One is I would like to take vacation in the near future. So this this has to be done. This has to be done. Danny, ready? Yeah, I mean, you can't go on vacation until we beat this. Until we beat so. this. Also, I have to be Bond, and I need you there for that, so let's uh, stick around for a bit you here. Need, you don't need me there for I that. I moral support. You've helped I, out I quite can, a bit. I, can, I need the whole team I can here. phone that one in. Yeah? Yeah. I, I need can, the whole team. You know, that uh, Hardy guy's expendable, but, you know, the whole team has to be here. I could just, Abby could just do the soundboard on that one of, like, see any good movies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, well, wait, as long as you record enough stuff before yeah, you leave. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Woodworking. Yeah. Gremlins 2. <laughs> That's my line. My kid said. (laughs) Transformer. Transformer. Bye.